for a young team, a uh, veteran team like Cincinnati coming in with some definitely um, really good pieces that could hurt you. Obviously, we all know Jaron Cumberland, uh, the reigning uh, player of the year in our league last year, was going to come in knowing that he was playing against freshmen. Knew he was going to come out uh, with, with uh, aggression from the beginning, and the way the kids responded uh, was phenomenal. And to get this win on national TV, was uh, was definitely gratifying because I, we lost our last game on national TV at home against Georgia and just happy to get back on the winning track. Coach, um, you got the win. How close did they stick to the game plan you gave? And how, uh, what was the key for not falling down? Uh, well, I think that um, <laughs> it's funny because Mike and I always look at each other. The very first play of the game, we didn't do the game plan properly. It was like, with young kids, it's going to happen. So we're, we're coaching our butts off every huddle. We're reminding them. But for the most part, I say we did the game plan about 60% of the time today. Because they run pick and roll. They're great at what they do. Uh, they made adjustments. We made adjustments. But we just kept fighting. We kept scrapping and, uh, and did a phenomenal job on that team. Given what Precious is dealing with physically, how much did Malcolm you know, help him? Malcolm helped a lot today. Uh, that's what I'm challenging him to do. On the, on, the, on, the, on the game game to game basis, it's like you have to come out and make your presence felt defensively, offensively. A lot of people don't know that he does what he does out there on the floor. He's kind of quick, knows how to make make decisions. He can pass the basketball, and I'm happy for him because he's been waiting on a game like this to where he's out, he's touching the ball, he's making decisions, dribble handoff, screening, uh, going to the basket. So he looked really good today. So that helped pressures a lot. I have the Malcolm out, out there with me today doing that. All right, it felt like you guys really handled the physicality pretty well, and that's not something that you would necessarily expect from a young team. So what did you just kind of make of how your team handled Cincinnati's physicality? Because that's their brand of basketball. Yeah, for sure. We played in enough games where teams are trying to beat us up. Uh, none like Cincinnati because that's their whole deal is to beat you up and grind you out. And the team was up for it. We had to protect home court. We had to hit first and keep punching because we knew if we didn't, they were going to make a run like they did. But we were still that run. But I'm proud of the team for not bailing out and not not uh, allowing their physicality to push us back. We kept moving forward. And you mentioned, you know, you know like early in the game, we kind of looked at each other. Yeah, there are moments when, when it's clicking with this team, it really clicks. Yes. And then there's moments when it looks, you know, just totally out of sync. Right. How are you handling just the yourself, just in the game, the highs and lows, of the, the, the highs and lows that this team can give you? Yeah, well, obviously the highs, you're like, wow, we look really good. And then the lows, you see exactly what it is. This might be one guy not moving fast enough. It might be two guys ball watching. It, I, I see it all, but I'm handling it pretty well because I know we're a young team. You watch film and you want them to carry it over, and it's just not happening as fast as we want it to, but we're, we're building. Can't, it's not all bad, believe me, but when we go through the lows, it's pretty low. But when we go through the, through the highs, it's, it's really high. So for a young team, we have way more highs than our lows. 13 shots tonight, does that qualify as Gunner DJ for you? Yes, that's that's what we wanted. He made six of them, uh, four for 10 from three. He comes out aggressive. That helps us 18 points. Uh, come on, plus 16. Uh, we need DJ to be aggressive like that uh, every game. Because this is probably the most physical game you played this year. Uh, talk about the play of uh, Maurice off the bench and uh, Malcolm. Well, Isaiah is a senior. You know, he's a guy that's been through the battle before, so he understands how this works. Uh, he wants to get more involved offensively, and sometimes that takes away from his defense, but he always comes in the game playing really hard and trying to do things that we ask him to do. And uh, of course, Malcolm. I mean, being a freshman, first time being in this type of game with Cincinnati with the physicality, and that big kid, Chris Bolt, is, is, a, is a handful. He did a great job. How, Penny, how, how, how key was the, the technical in terms of changing momentum at that point? Key. Yeah, the, yeah. It was very key. Not to interrupt you, but it was very key because we were only up four, put us up six, and I think we scored the next bucket. So that was something that was uh, huge. I know what he meant by um, uh, Jaron always drives to the basket and kind of almost torpedoes himself into the people, I mean, to the players. And all we talked this week was verticality jump to where we weren't going to foul him. And if you, if you do the verticality jump, they're, they're going to reward the defense. And I think the coach, well, he did feel like that was a foul on his best player. That definitely helped us out a lot. And then beating Cincinnati. You haven't done that a whole lot in your life? No, I haven't because they've always been, you know, the team that came in and punched us first and never stopped punching. And it feels good to be on the other side of that. The 10-0 uh, run in response to their run, I mean, obviously that's kind of where the game turned, I would think. 
and they took the lead there in the second half that you guys answered. So that, and then also it seemed like Mike was a lot more vocal tonight. I don't know. If you yeah, Mike was vocal because this was his scout. And the kids were kind of out of position a lot. And we had to do more talking than what we really want to because the game plan is already set. So there's a lot of talking because when we see things that are about to happen, the kids can't see it. So we kind of alert them. And Mike was up a lot because it was his scout. Coach, who's leading the hustle board? Oh, man. If I was saying someone would be leading the hustle board, it would probably be Alex Lomax, either him or Precious. Those two guys are probably right there, 1A, 1B. As far as leading the hustle staff, because Alex gets a lot of steals and um, and assists, and Precious gets a lot of rebounds, points, blocks. So one of those two guys. Coach, you talked about Boogie being in the gym a lot. Yep. Talk about Boogie being in the gym a lot, putting up shots. Could did he work in the gym? How do you get him back on track? It seems like he's been all for a couple days. Well, he's going to need more minutes, but obviously he has to. The minutes that he's getting, he has to max, maximize. Right now, we can't we can't wait on anybody. We're going to teach and watch film. It's all on Boogie, and I can't wait until it turns because he's a kid that's deserving of returning in the proper way. I know he's frustrated, uh, and we're, we're going to continue to help him, but you got to, we're getting him shots. He just has to knock him down. Do you think it's going to be, it'll be rewarding at the end of the year that you've played so many of these games where you have to finish? Because, you know, look at South Florida, now here, a lot of these other games, uh, most of them have gone your way, some of them have not. Is that going to be rewarding? I think it will be rewarded because we've been in a we've been in a we've been in a battle, we've been in a ton of battles more than what I would want. But when you've been in games where you've been down and you come back and won, you don't have that quit. You'll never quit. So that's what this team shows. Like, hey man, we're down, but we're not. We're never out. And they keep fighting and they keep. You don't want to continue to do that because at some point that's going to hurt you. But if they get we get into a game uh, and we get down, we know we know we're not out. We're not out of it. You don't want to take off. Well, obviously, defensively, we're going to continue to do our little shield drills and work on our different types of defenses from full court press to half court press to zone because at some point we're going to need to use zone um, against some teams that spurts. And then offensively, we're going to talk about spacing and execution of the offense and, uh, and making uh, hitting singles instead of trying to hit home runs with passes. We try to do that way too much. At a time, Penny, when, when everyone's losing games all over the place that you don't necessarily expect, you've only lost two, I think, where you were favored in your whole in the last two years. What do what do you attribute that? Like you win, you seem to win the games you're supposed to win. Well, that's the thing. You know, you're supposed to win the game that you're supposed to win. You're not supposed to lose to a team that uh, you're more superior than, or you're supposed to be because you have the most talent. Doesn't mean that is you can just walk out on the court. So we keep our guys on edge. We keep them uh, understanding that at any moment anybody can beat you, and we take every game seriously. We don't we don't let the guys, even though they try, we do not let them get into a situation where they they start underestimating someone, and that's when you can have someone you know beat you that shouldn't beat you. Uh, Coach Jaden made his big three uh, during the game. I'm sure you were excited. It seemed like you tried to hide exactly how excited you were. No, I'm very excited every time he makes a jump shot. I am because <laughs> honestly, because I, I all the guys. But you know, when it's him, I know how bad he wants it. I know how, how much he wants to contribute. And when he made the three, it was a big three at a, at a great time uh, for us. And I was I was definitely proud of that. Got time for one more? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.